Well, the time is now 946. Scientists measure movements and vibrations under the Earth using what's known as a seismograph. It is the way that we can get a sense of just how intense an earthquake was. Today, we get to learn how that device actually works by making our own with some help from STEM NOLA. We're joined right now by Woodlawn High graduate Jasmine Gray, along with STEM NOLA staffers Lionel Johnson Jr. and Laura Moore. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hey. All right, so you guys are going to whip something up for us. All right, it looks like you're in the kitchen whipping something up, but we're not going to do food. We're going to make us a seismograph. Tell us what we got here. Kind of explain to us what a seismograph is and, and uh, go through the process for us so we kind of understand. All right, so today we're going to be making this seismograph. It is what scientists use to measure earthquakes. So I'm going to start by listing out the materials that we're going to need. First, we're going to need a medium-sized cardboard box a paper or plastic cup, some string, a marker, a pair of scissors, some tape, some coins, or you can use marbles or other small items to use as weights, a sheet of paper or a very long printed receipt from the store, and you're going to need a few buddies to help you out. <laughs> so, I'm going to start by going on to the first step, and that is to poke one hole on either side, or on both sides of the cup, and two holes on the top of the box. And then you're going to cut two slits at the bottom of the box on each side. That is so that we can pass this paper strip through the strips. Now we're going to attach our string to the top of the cup and to the top of the box so that the cup is going to hang down. Oh, there's one in here already. So that the cup can hang down um, in the box above the sheet of paper. And now it should be looking a little bit like this. And so we're going to, the next step would be to poke a hole into the bottom of the plastic cup in the very center and then insert your marker, make sure it's uncapped, into the hole so that it is just touching the tip of the paper. And let's just make sure, yep, it's touching the tip. So then we're going to add in our weights. So we're going to use pennies. About a handful should do it. And make sure that the marker stays in place. And now we're ready to use our seismograph. So I'm going to start by pulling the paper. And at first, the line should stay relatively straight. But then my partners are going to start shaking the table. Oh, wow. And after I pull it all the way through, you guys are going to be able to see a, a few squiggles in here. And this is what scientists use to measure the magnitude of an earthquake. Wow. Wow, that is, that is amazing. That is amazing, guys. We now, we, that is really something interesting. That is a, a homemade seismograph. That only took a few things. You could make that easily at your house. But, I mean, you know, we don't have as big of earthquakes as you might have somewhere like a California, but we know that, obviously, we do get them sometimes in our area. So if it's something that you're very, very interested in, guys, I really, really appreciate you. We are out of time, but that was a really, yeah. really awesome stuff there. And now, we really, yeah, go ahead. Oh, um, and I just want to mentioned um, that if you visit our website www.stemnola.com you will see um, our Saturday events that we have available and our summer camp spots that are still available. And, and also and I want you yeah, guys to ahead. check out our YouTube so you can check out all of our packed events that you might be interested in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so, so much. Really a lot of interesting stuff there. And as you said, they got classes and available. You can learn to do that kind of stuff. If you get interested in things like seismology, that's amazing. Thank you all so much with STEM NOLA for joining us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. All right. all right. Well, we see a lot of uh, brown pelicans.